Hey folks, Sylvia's here, I'm back on Leaf. Uh, so I think this will probably end up being a shorter video compared to my normal ones. Um, because we only have 31, I think, more Terramites to kill. And I already loaded up with equipment, so while I map click there, let's, um, killing in the name of Terramites. Yeah, I just have 31 more Terramites to kill. So that should go pretty quickly, um, but also will take long enough time that I can't really start a second thing for this video. I was going to say task, but that's not exactly what I meant. Uh, <laughs> so I'm probably just going to go kill these Terramites and then kind of be on my way, um, I think is probably how this video is going to end up working out. Uh, we're getting close to 50. Let me, uh, hold on. Let me uh, map click and then we'll look at that. Yeah, 97,000 EXP to go. Yeah, we're getting close to 50. Um, I want to finish this Terramite task quickly. I don't know if I'll be able to do another task before I hit 50. Uh, but we're going to do this Terramite task, and then we're going to pick up two more tasks, and we'll see if maybe I can get another one done before I hit 50. We'll see. Um, actually, funny story on... Uh, that's, like, not a great sign. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of ignore him. But that is definitely not a good sign. Um, yep. <laughs> this is, uh, so this is my new, like, schedule where I'm making the videos at different times of the day. Because I'm trying not to be awake at all times of the night. Um, so it's currently, uh, 7.40pm where I'm at. Normally I would be making this video, like, eight hours from now. Um, somebody looks like they died there. Uh, yeah. I mean, not a lot I can do in this situation, and just kind of hope for the best, but this uh, does, in fact, kind of suck. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, let's attack the one that's closer, I suppose. Exit to, and now it's further away, anyway. Exit to Khan. Bam, killed it. I have that uh, like automatic need to uh, finish things off because I don't want to waste the additional arrow. So I finish things off when they're at low HP with strikes. Um, but I don't actually want to be doing that on Leaf right now because of... Um, I'm actually trying to save the mana for um, Enchanted Spears. And also I don't use arrows, so... But yeah, all right, so yeah, like I said, this will be a shorter video. Um, I gotta look into what I'm doing for my next two tasks. Uh, I already have the ape task picked up, but I haven't killed any apes. So that's a, that's a fresh task. It could, in theory, be dropped if there was a better option. Um, and I'm trying to think of what else I could do. Why did I just go back through that? <laughs> what am I doing? I just completely, like, my brain just stopped working. All right. Um, well, looking at it real quick. Yeah, it's unfortunate. That one died right away. Alright, killing in the name of, killing in the name of. We've got badgers, which I don't even think I can do. Yeah, alright, I, I need to actually just probably either look at the wiki or talk to Grizzly Adams to figure out what I need to be doing here. Why am I just letting them hit me, also? <laughs> Look, what am I doing? I'm playing like I'm a knight. Lost uh, two spears already. That was it. Right there? Nope. I think it's the, um... Yeah, right there. I wonder if nobody has been in here since, uh, I was in here last. Um... Well, anyway, in my last video, I was kind of saying how I was up at my aunt's that whole time, and I was also saying how I was kind of bored the whole time I was up there, too. Uh, so what I spent, like, two weeks doing was basically doing nothing but watch the Olympics and, um, and reading. So, uh, I guess the Olympics are over now. Um, I think they ended on the... I think they ended on the 21st. It's the 24th now. So the Olympics are over, but I did watch a fair share of them on, um, what was it, NBC? Which was a, was a weird experience. I've never really watched a lot of the Olympics before. Like, you know, I've been in people's houses and stuff, like when the Olympics were on, and I was like, oh, it's the Olympics. Um, it was, uh, it was interesting, I guess. Some of it, like, like the swimming events, I found incredibly 
boring, actually. Which is weird, because, like, the Americans did really well in the swimming events, but, um... It's like... There's too many swimming events. <laughs> like, I can... Alright, you know, so we have the, um... The, I don't know, probably like a 100 backstroke. A 100 butterfly stroke. A 100, I think they called it like the medley. A 100, um... Butterfly, breaststroke, backstroke, freestyle. And then we've got the same thing, but in 200, and then the same thing in the 400, and then I think there was like an 800, and then there was relays of the same thing. I mean, like, I'm not a swimmer myself, so, like, you know, I can't, like, look at somebody's breaststroke and be like, oh, that's amazing. He's just swimming like a, like a dolphin. I'm just like, oh, man, like, people going through water over and over and over and over again. Yay, I guess. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, I mean, you can only see it so many times, and then the different, like, lengths of the race. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand that, you know, a shorter race requires more sprinting, whereas a longer race requires more, like, stamina kind of thing, and, like, pacing of yourself. Like, I'm not, I'm not clueless that I'm not making light of the, um, like, the athletes. It's just from, like, the viewer's perspective. I'm like, oh, look, it's another guy. Plus, I mean, all the people look kind of the same when they're all wearing um, the little hats. Like, human hair is a huge, um, <laughs> like, indicator of personality and is a huge way for a person to be like, that person is different from that person. Um, hair, and I guess, like, eyes would be another thing that you can kind of help, like, j uh, distinguish people with. And they also all wore goggles. And then little, like, water swim cap things. So, like, I don't know. And I don't, like, I don't know any of the personalities, so I was just like, uh, I don't, like, you know, I know who Michael Phelps is. Um, I think the guy's name was, like, Lochte. Like, you know, ooh, I'm kind of dying. Like, you know, I knew who these people were. It wasn't like I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on, but, you know, maybe if I was, like, a fan of anybody. That's kind of, generally speaking, like, makes any type of sports more interesting. Like, when you've got, um... You know, like I, I'm in the Philly area, so, uh, you know, the Philadelphia Eagles is our American football team. Uh, I think the Philadelphia Union is our soccer team. Uh, the rest of the world calls that football, though. Um, I don't think anybody cares about the our soccer team. Uh, the Philadelphia Flyers are our hockey team. Philadelphia Wings are lacrosse. I don't know any of the other lesser sports. Um... Philadelphia Phillies are our baseball, and the Philadelphia 76ers are our basketball team. Um, but, I mean, like, I'm not really into sports in the first place, so, like, while I would prefer to see the Phillies teams win, obviously, I kind of don't care. So, I mean, without being, like, I don't know. It's also weird, I guess. Um, a lot of, like, you know, where soccer is really popular in the world, they have, like, national teams where it's, like, the, you know, the Brazilian team is is competing. Whereas, like, in America, it's like, you know... I mean, I don't even have a Pennsylvania team. We have, um, like, for American football, we've got the Philadelphia Eagles, but we've also got the Pittsburgh Steelers in the, uh, in the same state. Um, so, I mean, it makes things a little weird, I guess. Um, but, yeah, so, like, I just wasn't into the swimming. And the same thing with the races. Like, I don't know. I did watch, um, the first two days I watched that, like, incredibly long bike race, which was, I think it was, like, 250 kilometers or something like that, something absurd, it was, like, an eight-hour race. Uh, I watched that, and I guess that was moderately interesting, just due to the people crashing, which, which says something about why I'm, like, watching a sport when I'm only watching it to see people fail at it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, it was interesting. Um... <laughs> absurdly long race. I can't imagine uh, riding a bike that long. And the funny thing is, like, I know there's long bike rides like that and stuff like that, but actually, like, seeing it, you kind of learn things about it. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm aware that even in, like, a climate-controlled, comfortable area, if you were riding a bike in a race for eight hours and didn't drink or eat, you'd probably just die. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, like, the Brazilian rainforest up and down a mountain while I was, like, I don't know. 25 to 30 degrees Celsius out uh, seems, you know, like it would definitely kill you. But I was, like, surprised to find that there was all these, like, cars just racing alongside them. 
Like, if anybody, I guess, if you watch this, you would know what I'm talking about, or if you just knew what I'm talking about, you would understand. But for anybody who didn't watch this, while they're racing, they're, like, the bikers, um, the cyclists, I should say, in a pack, kind of. Like, they all kind of stay together, except for the couple that, like, break away and the other ones that get left behind. But uh, they're all there, and then just behind them are a whole bunch of cars that have, like, the camera crews in them and stuff like that. But they also have, like, I guess, people that you can communicate with, and you can be, like, you know, like, my my tire feels off, or I need a bag of food or water, and then, like, they just, the car pulls up to the cyclist, and then, like, somebody just leans out the window and, like, here's a bottle of water. <laughs> it was kind of, like, it was a kind of crazy thing to just watch. Um, and then there was all these dudes on scooters that I guess were the also camera crews and stuff like that. But it was like, when they were going down hills at these spots, it was all like windy and everything. And they're going downhill, and uh, the cyclists are more maneuverable than the cars and the scooters. Um, so they're going so fast and are maneuvering so fast that the, um, the like, scooters actually like struggled to keep pace with the, some of the cyclists. Mostly the cyclists that were in like first place. Uh, but there's a couple of good crashes. Uh, Iranian driver or cyclist um, like smashed into a wall. It looked like um, there was also, I guess, the section like right down the hill where the the road became cobblestone, and they'd hit that, and it would like damage the wheels on their bikes, and also send their water bottles flying each time they hit that, which was kind of interesting. So I watched that like whole race basically, and then the next day I come down, and then they're doing the exact same race but with the women's cycling team. I was just like, really, guys? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I, I, I understand that that's how it has to work, but, like, doing the exact same race two days in a row was just kind of like, well, this is meh. Like, I don't know, I would have scheduled that a little differently. But, I mean, I'm sure there was a... I'm sure there's more pressing concerns than what's most convenient for the audience. Um, so, like, I understand why they obviously wouldn't do it that way, but, yeah, that was, uh, that was unfortunate. That made it a lot less interesting. Um, also, for my, uh, like, Polish viewers, I guess, because I'm sure there's some of them, I think of that bike race, um, like, towards the end of it, the, uh, the, pol the male one, the Polish cyclist was in the lead, and led all the way until the last, like, kilometer of the race. And then he just fell apart and got overtaken. Like, I understand that happens, and, like... Not to, like, knock the dude, but, like... That was brutal. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Although, I think the same kind of thing actually then happened in the uh, the women's race with the American cyclists. So, I mean, you know, whatever. What goes around comes around. <laughs> we, can, we can all experience the uh, being in first place and then just botching it at the last second experience. What is the dude doing? I can't tell. Is this dude like a bot? He doesn't look... He's not behaving like a bot. Yeah, I don't think he's a bot. He might be a bot. You never know. <sighs> so then, let's see. I watched some of the archery competition... Which was, um, which was interesting, actually. Not what I expected when I, like, thought archery competition. They had, like, these crazy-looking bows with these, like, huge... They're, like, stabilizers on it, but it was really weird. Um, I think it was an Iranian woman, again? Um, she was, like, paralyzed from the waist down, and she competed. She did not, um, win. But, uh, that was, like, that was interesting. Apparently it said, um, now I don't remember what sport she used to play. She played some sport and then she was in a car accident and got paralyzed. But she was so, like, such a sports fan that she was like, I need to keep being involved in sports. What can I do from a wheelchair? Oh, hey, I have 19 more than I needed to kill. Let's leave. <laughs> Whoops. So, yeah, she decided to do archery. Wow, going 19 over was uh, unfortunate because I'm trying to watch my experience, too. That sucked. That note, does Leaf have um, his blessings? Okay, Leaf does have his blessings. Good to know. Yeah, I watched some of the gymnastic stuff. The gymnastic stuff is hard though because, like, at least with a race, 
even if I'm not really interested in the race or I've watched the swimming race five bajillion times in a row, um, you know, I can still tell who's winning. <laughs> it's the guy in the front. Whereas, like, you know, I'm not a gymnastics judge. Or, like, same with the high dive and things like that. I'm not, like, a diving judge. So, um, you know, I'm, like, watching that, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. She jumped and spun and twisted pretty twistily and spinnily. I don't know. Like, I can't judge if she's good or not. <laughs> I, like, all of them are impressive, and all of them are doing something that I most assuredly can't do. But I don't know if, like, I would, like, I can't tell is that person better than that person. Um, although apparently there was a thing where, like, the Ukrainian men's gymnast team just, like, refused to compete at one section or something like that. I didn't see a follow-up on that, though, so I don't know what happened. Um, that was interesting. Also, on the topic of the swimmers, there was that thing with, I think the guy's first name is Ryan Lochte, Ryan Lochte, who, uh, like, got held up at gunpoint by police officers, but then it turned out they were just off-duty police officers working as security guards, and then it turned out that they weren't holding him up. They were demanding money for vandalism that he inflicted on a bathroom and a gas station. And now the last thing I heard about that was that, like, um, a news report went into the bathroom and there was, like, no sign of damage or anything being repaired. So it was like they, they did catch him on camera, like, peeing behind the gas station. But, um, like, that's it. <laughs> They didn't catch up. Like, there was no actual signs of major vandalism. So maybe it looks like something happened? I don't know. My inherent thought is that Brazil's kind of, a uh, got some issues with corruption, and Rio's got some issues with crime. So my initial thought is, and also, you know, it's an American. I'm naturally kind of going to be like, you know, go America. He was probably right. But yeah, my natural thought was probably, like, something sketchy's going on there. I don't know. I guess in the future we'll find out, though. So, let's see, that happened. I'm trying to think anything else interesting happened. Uh, two separate people, I think, proposed during the, uh, the things. It was, um, a Chinese... This Chinese woman, she got silver medal on some event. It couldn't have been a team sport, because she got silver medal, not her team. Port Hope. Um, and then her boyfriend proposed to her... I think he was in a different event or something like that, too. So he proposed to her, like, on the medal stand or something. Um, and then I think there was a Brazilian woman on, like, the Brazilian soccer team who got proposed by to by her girlfriend, I guess. Um, so I don't actually know. I guess Brazil allows same-sex marriage like that. Um, good for them, by the way. So, yeah, two people proposed. I'm trying to think of what else interesting things happened in the, the Olympics, and I'm just I'm just drawing a blank right now. I guess that means not a lot of interesting thing happens. And like I said, I didn't really... I just watched so many of the, like, the swimming races and stuff. The diving pool turned green, I remember that. I think the guy who won silver in a judo competition got uh, mugged at one point. Somebody punched him in the face and took his money. <laughs> it was good times. Good times. So that was the Olympics. I watched a whole bunch of the Olympics. Did anybody else watch the Olympics? I should put a poll up. Yeah, there's a poll up. At this point in the video, there is a pull-up. It says, did you guys watch the Olympics? A little bit, a lot, or something like that. I like the polls. I don't know if anybody else really bothers with them, but I like the polls. I also don't know if they show up when you're on a, watching this on, like, certain devices. But I think they're interesting. So I will continue to do polls whenever I think about it. All right, let's see here now. We got task. Okay, this time you'll just get an experience reward. All right. Now, let's see, what are our tasks here? All right, we got crocodiles, which I'm pretty sure I can't do, right? Crocodiles. Yeah, all right, you do this task three times. Task, all right. So we can't do crocs, we can't do badgers. Badgers? Yeah, okay, we can't do badgers. Tasks. That means we can't do mammoths either. We can't do tarantulas, we can't do chronophiles. That gives us stone golems, gnarl hounds, Teramites, apes, thornbacks, tortoises, or gargoyles. All right. To get to Gnarl Hounds, I would have to do the access quest, which I really don't want to do. Um, can I do Teramites again? Teramites. Yeah, I can't do Teramites anymore. All right, tasks. So if Teramites are no good, 
Um, I don't know where I'd go for Thornback Tortoises either. Um, but that strikes me as... I always remember the Tortoises being a pretty big um, bot monster. And also, I think I have to do like access to get to most of the Thornbacks. And I'm also pretty confident that they give pretty good EXP. So I'm not sure if I want to do that. So that gives me Stone Golems and Gargoyles as my next option. Do I want to do Stone Golems and Gargoyles again? That sounds kind of nightmarish. How many boss points do I have? Killing in the name of... Boss points. Boss points? I have 11 boss points. You know, part of me wants to just say screw it and just go do apes and not pick up another one. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to say screw it. If I'm done apes and I have I uh, I haven't leveled up yet, we'll we'll run from there. But yeah, he's level seven hundred and five. That's pretty high. Hi center, yes. All right, so let's go drop off my crap. Um, and then we're gonna go do apes next video, but not in this one because this one's been you know. I feel like 16 spears is probably sufficient. Yeah, we're going to just call it here. Going to go to the depot and call it a night. All right, folks, uh, as I'm walking there then, uh, <laughs> like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. By the way, do um, I, I say this every now and then, but I'm going to start repeating myself a little bit now and then. Um, you don't have to go to my Patreon to like actually support me, but if you do go to my Patreon, um, I post all the videos that I do there, and no, uh, you see her. Uh, I write like additional commentary on you know the video, like uh, the the commentary I write on the um, Patreon videos is kind of like post thoughts, things that I don't say during the video because you know I'm like thinking about what I had already said in the video. So you might find something interesting there. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking I actually might use the math. Yeah, let's use the magic level one. All right, folks. Uh, again, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. I'll see you guys.